Hi, hello, welcome to Bell English. This is an exciting opportunity is provided by a Canadian based company Namskar Fine East India Cuisine Limited. So it's an exciting opportunity irrespective of your uh, background. So if at all you are uh, fine with the ethnic foods, it's an exciting opportunity for the cooks. So the company is looking for someone with just that the experience without any education also, they are fine with it. So before we get into the details of this particular job posting, if you are new to the channel, if you are new viewer to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button next to it. So let's get into the details of the video. So it's a Canadian job opening where uh, the employer is looking for a permanent uh, job, of providing a uh, permanent job opportunities for uh, a cook who is familiar with the ethnic foods. So the job details goes lesson. The salary is being provided at $26.5 hourly and the minimum working uh, hours expectation would be 30 hours at least per week. So it's a permanent employment where it will be a full-time employment and your work timings would be like uh, day, evening, weekend shift and on-call flexible hours. So this is where a uh, question comes. Certain times you would be obliged to work based on the requirements of the employer. So that would be on demand basis, time to time it actually differs. It, it wouldn't be like a static timing, but at times it may actually uh, go beyond your regular schedule just because it's, it's, it's in the cooking field. So cooking, as you people know, it's, it's a very crucial uh, department where uh, it primarily depends on serving the people. So while it comes to the question of uh, uh, serving the people, obviously you are expected to go beyond the mile. So that's why they have also mentioned this category like flexible hours. So on call, you might be expected to work for certain uh, hours uh, beyond the actual time which is being expected, for, which is being already designated to you. And let's look at the start date of this particular job opening. This is the employer is actually looking for someone who can join with them immediately as soon as possible. So he has got an approval from LMIA, so Labor Market Impact Assessment, he has already got the approval to hire the foreign workers. So which means that it's open for foreign workers and also as well as for the Canadians, permanent residents and whoever has a uh, legal work permit in the country. So it, it is open for anyone who can, uh, uh, who, who has the experience and who actually get through his interview process. He is open to employ any foreigners. So the job requirement is some as follows. So the language he is looking for is English. The education, uh, he doesn't care about education. It is not in specific that you have to be a, a proper education holder. Even if you are a non-degree holder, no, no certificate and diploma, that's also fine for him. So experience he is looking for is a minimum of one year and less than two years. So he is okay with your experience between one to two years. The skill requirements he looks for is train the staff in preparation. So you have to train the staffs around you and uh, who works along with you for the preparation. And you have to cook and handle the food. So being a cook, it's obvious that you have to handle the cook and you have to handle the food and cook it. So obviously that's the primary task of any cook. And then supervise the kitchen, staffs and helpers. So you have to supervise besides being a cook, you are supposed to supervise the helpers and the staffs. Being cook, cook is something like an uh, essential role where uh, you'll have a lot of responsibilities when it comes to the kitchen work. Because kitchen work is ultimately dependent on the cook. If uh, cook is appropriate and he is able to handle his resources, definitely his kitchen is going to make that output uh, which is expected by the enterprise. So it's it's obvious that the cook's performance could be like reviewed based on the output which comes from the kitchen. So that's why it's it's very important. Like the cook is a very crucial role that acts as a uh, I mean a more or less equivalent to the performance of the actual kitchen. So that's why people would be very uh, selective in uh, taking the people for cook. So it's an exciting opportunity wherein uh, that's why it's, it's also paid one of the highly paid job. It, it's also treated as one of the highly paid job in any industry. So you have to supervise the staffs and the helpers, recruit and hire the staff. So since you are being the cook, you, you are supposed to recruit and hire them. So it's like you have to train them, you have to keep them in place. And you have to monitor them if they are doing 
uh, justice to their uh, actual uh, uh, work or they are following their own protocols or and then you have to recruit and hire if some some manpower is in shortage organize and manage the buffet and banquets so of course you have to organize them the buffets and the banquets you have to organize them order the supply and equipment so requirements has to be analyzed and that has to be ordered by the cook himself because you are the coach you are the cook and you are the one who is responsible for your kitchen so manage the kitchen operations as i was explaining about the cooks significance in a kitchen so you have to manage the kitchen operations inspect the kitchen and food service area so you have to inspect the kitchen and the food service area prepare and cook special meals for patients as instructed by the dietitians or chef so yeah i mean this this is something like very uh, important here you have to uh, just open your eyes here it's something like a special request on demand request which comes out of the blue so besides the regular orders regular work and regular protocol you are supposed to prepare certain foods and you have to uh, cook certain meals in specific to the instructions provided by the patients dietitians or chef so there there might be some request which comes in as an order uh, through the regular customer or a new clients or or some someone who is working to your uh, uh, location so that request has to be entertained for those patients so they they can be a patient so their request and their or their dietitians or uh, uh, chef's request has to be entertained here you have to take care to cook them cook it accordingly for their requirement as cooking is very most significant task for anyone's living so unless food is being cooked you won't be able to have it and definitely that's going to affect your lively liveliness so that's why cooking is so significant here so you have to clean the kitchen and work area so it's your responsibility to keep the kitchen clean and the work area maintain inventory and records of food supply and equipment so you have to maintain the inventory record which is like the stocking so you have to maintain a stocks actually what is available what is it to be procured and what has to be uh, planned for the upcoming days so it's it's more or more or less like the entire kitchen operations as we were discussing manage the kitchen operations it comes under uh, the kitchen operations as well the maintaining inventory records of food supplies and equipments so prepare and cook complete meals or individual dishes and food so you have to prepare cook the complete meal as in it, it wouldn't be like few dishes it will be a complete course of meal where you have to prepare uh, the certain number of uh, certain number of dishes which actually comprises of the entire meal so you have to do that or any specific individual food or dishes in specific to the timely time requirement so plan your menu so you have to plan the menu determine the size of food portion estimate food requirement and cost so you have to analyze the cost while you calculate the other uh, uh, food requirements and the food portion size as well so size of serving and how much would actually it cost and how much it has to be uh, like charged so those things has to be calculated from your end and you have to monitor and order the supplies so you have to monitor the orders and you have to monitor and order the supplies so that's why it's being mentioned so it's all together the uh, kitchen management operations of entire the kitchen so cooking the cook category is cooking general so you'll be a general cook cuisine specialties like east indian cuisines as i was explaining about the profile it's the east indian cuisines which the uh, like employer is looking for the additional skills like prefer, preparing the dishes for customers with food allergies and intolerances as we were discussing about the specifications which are given by the dietitians and the uh, chefs of any patients or someone who is dropping into your kitchen so you have to take care of this uh, uh, dishes prepared for allergic and intolerance people as well so work setting is restaurant so you are supposed to work on the restaurant and transportation public transportation you have to go ahead with the public transportation as the employer is not providing any support for the transportation so work environment it will be like the work uh, condition and physical capabilities are fast paced environment work under pressure so you should be in a position to work under the pressure so it's like tight deadlines as you know it's it's kitchen so you'll have definitely lot of uh, pressure going on continuously the stock availabilities and while you're managing the kitchen you'll have a number of uh, ad hoc queries pouring in and that causes 
people to frequently run errands as well so that's why it's it's like uh, work under pressure in repetitive task of course there will be handling heavy loads physically demanding you have to be physically uh, fit for like you have to be a physically potential person to do uh, certain deliberate task which require you to uh, like do go beyond your uh, physical ability at times attention to details standing for an extended period as being a cook you are responsible for the entire kitchen the work location would be urban area and personal suitability you have to be initiative flexibility team player client focus dependability judgment reliability and organized so as th these are all self explanatory as you could see you have to be initiative person you have to be flexible enough and have to be a team player since you are the uh, cook you are responsible for the entire kitchen you have to definitely be a team player so client focus you have to focus on your client as customer is god over there so in specific to food it's it's ultimately the customer who is the one who is going to decide the actual uh, uh, ability of a cook and who is going to actually decide the restaurant's future as well so the client focus is very important dependability you have to be a dependable person and you have to judge if that would go nice or not because you know like food is something like a creative section where you have to know if you add these things what would be the result and would that go well would that gel would few ingredients gel properly so those things has to be made as a judgmental from yourself and reliability you have to be a reliable, reliable person and you have to stay organized being a cook so employment group is like it's it's completely for uh it, the employer actually sub supports the entire work groups it's like it can be apprentices indigenous people newcomers to canada senior students veterans visible minorities youth and as you know so it's it's like they are supportive for all the groups actually so applications yeah you have to apply through email or by mail so both the details have been given in the below description box through a reference link you can access that you have to update uh, like apply through the email with your updated resume and your uh, other document proofs and then your experience details and your portfolios and if it is like mail you can send the hard copies through email uh, mail through them through a mail to the postal address which i have given on the uh, reference link you can access it and send in an mail with the hard copies of your resume portfolio and other uh, documents of yours so i guess i've detailed enough of information here if at all if you got any questions or queries please feel free to let me know in the comment section i'll be pleased to assist you on that so we'll uh, like share this video uh, with your friends definitely it will be of great help for them people are stranded here and there uh, due to this pandemic ongoing pandemic people in canada also are stranded who has a uh, legal work rights are also stranded and like they are just roaming without uh, jobs as well so if this could help them that would be of great news for us so share it with your friends like the video give me a thumbs up uh, you support the channel subscribe to the channel click the bell button as soon as you subscribe let your friends know and let your friends subscribe to the channel support the channel we'll see you soon with another new job opening till then take care bye bye